Extreme Sherry. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have such a specialty here on my cask. It's a Nokandu, 25 years old, 43% ABV and the price was around 170 but I think it has gone up to 200, 250. Perhaps it will reach 300. Why? Well, there are no supplies left of this 25 year old and uh, it was a limited edition of about 4,758 bottles and this was worldwide and Nokandu is a well a well spread malt on the market and there are a lot of lovers of this whiskey on the market so these 25 year old bottles should be gone when you see this video. Well, I'm afraid I took this video too late. The bottle is in my bar uh, for a long time now, probably one and a half years. And uh, well, I think I had this bottle on the cask when I showed you the content of my bar. Yes, I think so. Um, this one is matured. 100% in first fill sherry cask for 25 years. That's the maximum available impact for your mouth. And 25 years ago, most of the sherry casks were European sherry casks, meaning the, the tastes or the taste relevant compounds coming out of the staves of the cask uh, were from European oak with a lot of tannins in. Yeah. And therefore, this whiskey has such a dark color. Now, Kandu is natural color. There is no artificially artificial coloring uh, with a whiskey. And uh, here, bottle number 1398. By appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. Wine Merchants, Gisterini and Brooks Limited, 41, 40, 61st James Street, London, Southwest 1, England. Ah, Scotch from the English. Yeah, to be close to the Queen. Yeah. Um, there is a tale that you have to finish your bottles fast because oxidization will change the taste of a whiskey. And after one year or two years, the content of your bottle will turn bad. So better finish the bottle as soon as you can. Yeah, there is some truth in it, but not too many, too much, because um, Old whiskies had the chance to oxidize in the cask during the 25 years of maturation. The cask breathes, meaning expanding in the hot summer, contracting in the cold winter, and so moving the air in and out and bringing fresh oxygen in the cask for oxidization. So most of the possible oxidization had already taken place in those 25 years of maturation. It's different with the fresh young casks. There you have definitely uh, an oxidization taking place in an open bottle and the, the less liquid is in the bottle, the more oxygen will be in the bottle for those oxidization. So if we have a young whiskey, start slowly, <laughs> the less content you have in the bottle, finish it fast then you have less oxidization in the bottle. And to be fair, most of the bottles change to better. There are only few bottles. Most of them are very smoky ones, which turn into tar. <laughs> well, uh, weird compounds or weird tastes, uh, which you do not really want to have. So this one is already oxidized and I have no fear to store this open bottle for 
say, for us five years. No, no fear at all. So you do not have to finish expensive bottles fast. No. Ha! <sighs> Extreme sherry, what else? Oakiness, but not too strong. But the spices are stronger than vanilla and caramel. There is some Christmas spice in it. These cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, boom, all those uh, extremely intense spices you use for the bakery for Christmas, for the holiday season. It's not that sweet. It already shows a quite dry character, probably from the oak. Yeah, and some cho chocolate already showing up. So I do not have the time to, to smell it through this glass for the following 10 minutes. That is what you should do at home with this bottle. Smell, 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 smell. The complexity is very high. Mm. Complex, intense sherry, and who? Oh, some soft wood resin. No, it's not allowed to mature Scotch whiskey in soft wood. You have to use oak. That's the only way to mature Scotch whiskey. But there's this, well, this remembrance of a pine tree or cedar. The resin of that, and then dates and a starting bitterness coming out of the spiciness of the oak together with the the drier sherry oh what a complex whiskey now overwhelming with sherry and oakiness and a lot of different spices And said here, rich and deep flavored. This 25 year old is a very unusual special bottling of mature Nokandu aged entirely in European oak casks. So, this is old European oak and not those new sherry casks which come from American white oak. So, this is an extremely complex and intriguing malt from a space side distillery whose whiskey has never tasted more richly rewarding. It is sweetly fruity, drying and warming. Exactly described. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm not emptying, emptying this glass now. It's worth emptying it. Um, I'm taking with me for the evening. So be careful. Do not have too much of alcohol in the evening. And stay tuned, there's more to come. And if you want to discuss this bottle with me, please do so in our vlog on whiskey.